The Story of Hatshepsut the Woman Who Was King Although the status of women in ancient Egypt, was higher than in any other ancient civilization, the notion that a woman could be king was abhorrent to the Egyptians. Yet, a woman did become king and not just an ordinary king. She became the first great woman in recorded history. Her name was Hatshepsut and she ruled as pharaoh for 15 years. Sadly, after her death the Egyptians, who were a deeply conservative people, obliterated her remembrance. Hatshepsut's grandfather, Emmas I, defeated the Hyksos who had invaded Lower Egypt and occupied it for more than 100 years during the Second Intermediate Period. It was he who inaugurated the New Kingdom in the 18th Dynasty. Hatshepsut was descended from a number of strong women, including Otep, the mother of King Amalsaya Otep was a military leader and she received the Golden Flies awarded to soldiers who fought courageously. When Amos died, his son Amenhotep became pharaoh but he left no male heirs. Tohutmos I, a commoner and army general, became king by marrying Amenhotep Nefertiti's sister. Tohutmos I was a strong pharaoh and, with his large professional army, made conquests south into Nubia and north as far as the Euphrates River, the farthest any pharaoh had gone up to that time. He erected two large obelisks at Karnak Temple and began the tradition of royal burials in the Valley of the Kings. It is possible that Tohutmos II realized Hatshepsut was ambitious for power because he proclaimed the young Tohutmos his successor. But when he died Tohutmos III was still a child, and his aunt and stepmother, Hatshepsut, acted as regent for him. Not content to be the power behind the child king, Hatshepsut soon proclaimed herself pharaoh, and the boy was kept away from the court. He was sent off to join the army where he grew up. To support her cause, Hatshepsut claimed that the god Amon had taken the form of her father and visited her mother, and she herself was the result of this divine union. As the self-proclaimed daughter of God, she further justified her right to the throne by declaring that the god Amon Are had spoken to her, saying, Welcome my sweet daughter, my favorite the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Matkair, Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut dressed as a king, even affecting a false beard, but it was never her intention to pass herself off as a man, rather, she referred to herself as the female falcon. Her success was due, at least in part, to the respect of the people for her father's memory and the loyal support of influential officials who controlled all the key positions of government. Map Punt During her rule, the Egyptian economy flourished, she expanded trading relations and dispatched a major seaborne expedition to the land of Punt, on the African coast at the southernmost end of the Red Sea. Hatshepsut launched an extensive building program, repairing the damage wrought by the invading Hyksos and building magnificent temples. She renovated her father's hall in the temple of Karnak. Erecting four great obelisks nearly 100 feet, 30 meters, tall, and added a chapel. But her greatest achievement was her mortuary temple at Deir el-Bari, one of the most beautiful temples in Egypt. She called it the most sacred of sacred places. The walls were illustrated with a colorful account of the trading expedition to Punt, featuring images of ships and of the marching army led by her general, Nessie. The expedition brought back many wonderful things including gold, ebony, animal skins, baboons, and refined myrrh, as well as living myrrh trees that were then planted around the temple. Hatshepsut is generally one of the most successful pharaohs in Egyptian history, her reign lasting for at least 20 years. 
dating the beginning of her reign is more difficult, however. Her father's reign began in either 1526 or 1506 BC according to the high and low estimates of her reign, respectively. The length of the reigns of Tohutmos I and Tohutmos II, however, cannot be determined with absolute certainty. With short reigns, Hatshepsut would have ascended the throne 14 years after the coronation of Tohutmos I, her father longer reigns would put her ascension 25 years after Tohutmos I's coronation. Thus, Hatshepsut could have assumed power as early as 1512 BC, or, as late as 1479 BC. Was Hatshepsut and her political allies aged? her hold on the throne weakened. Eventually, her nephew took his rightful place as pharaoh, though the circumstances of this event are unknown and what became of Hatshepsut is a mystery. Whether she died naturally or was deposed and eliminated. If you like this content please, don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching.